Okay, so next we've got the this month's Birch Box, which is in collaboration with Millie McIntosh from Made in Chelsea, if you don't know. Um, so the box is really pretty, like this sort of, um, I don't know, what do you think, tie-dye, sort of like pinky purpley theme uh, with just never-ending summer on the front. Uh, yeah. And then inside, let's have a look. So yeah, the theme is Never Ending Summer, July 2016. Um, and it's just got a load of stuff about Millie and like what she's put in the box. Um, a little bit about the products that are in here. Uh, behind the scenes. Birchbox Summer Sale, which is now on, up to 60% off if you're interested. Um, no, that's just a bit about the Birchbox shop, and then oh, this is about um, full sizes of all the products in your July Birchbox are worth £150. Uh, so you can take a photo, share it with them on Instagram, tag Birchbox UK in the caption, and use hashtag Birchbox UK or Birchbox IRE depending on where you are, and then sit back and relax, and hopefully, you will win or I will win. Uh, it says, coming up next month, sneak peek. Get ready to dive into August with a very special birch bag. This sounds rather exciting. Let's have a look and see what's in this one. So we've got a little pink bag this time with pink um, drawstrings. Right, let's see. I don't think it'd be... Oh, no, maybe there are. I don't know. There don't seem to be as many products as usual. I don't know. Anyway, so we've got the John Frieda... Luxurious volume, seven day volume, what is it? Uh, it says visibly, visibly full, touchably soft hair with protein and keratin as an in-shower treatment, amplifies hair thickness for up to seven days, which is good for me because my hair is just really thin <laughs> and fine. So that sounds good. Next up we've got, what is this? Ah, here we go. Um, oh, it's really difficult to read it because it's like, right. let me see. It's thermaliv hydroactive. Oh, I think it's like a micellar um, water, um, which is good because I like trying micellar waters. I've not heard of this brand before, though, thermaliv, um, but I should give that one a try. We've then got a nail thing, nail varnish, which, if I'm honest, I'm a little fed up with getting in, in like, subscription boxes because, I don't know, they just seem to shove these nail varnishes in boxes a hell of a lot and they always give you, like, a really rubbishy colour. Like, I'm not a massive fan of this, like, brownie grey colour. Let me see if it's actually got a name. Um... I think it's called flammable, maybe. But I just have so many miniature nails, ink nail polishes, and like they're all like just rubbish colours. Um, so not massively excited about that one. We then have um, a Cordelay. What does it say? Anti wrinkle protect fluid, broad spectrum SPF twenty. Um, I like Cordelay products, so I'm looking forward to giving that one a try. And then I think this is the one that Millie chose, which is the, um, I don't know, is it LOC or LOC um, Lip Crayon or what is it? Ultra Gloss Lip Pencil um, in this like nice sort of pinky colour, which is just my cup of tea. Um, I think that's everything. I'm sure they usually put more in than that, but... Apparently not, so that's what's in here. What does it say in here? See, the nails ink here, that pink, that pink, I would love. But, yeah. No, it is, it is the five products, so that's, that's everything that's in there. Okay, so the last thing that we are opening today is the My Little Box for July. And on the lid, we have this that says, Caution, Falling Coconuts. Which is uh, slightly interesting. <laughs> and then we have the box, which also says coconut. So I'm guessing there may be a coconut theme, but you know, could be wrong. 
Um, does it anything? No, it doesn't. Um, I love these boxes, like, they're great for like keeping for storing things or sending to other people with bits and bobs inside them. Uh, let's see if we can get into it. Okay. So, let's open this. Right, so the first thing is a print which you usually get in. Um, and it's got this lady with a coconut sitting in a sort of wicker chair kind of thing and then down here it says the two basic items necessary to, to sustain sustain i can't speak to sustain life are sun, sunshine and coconut milk dustin hoffman okay and we've then got the magazine um which just contains oh we have some little cocktails here and it's just got like um Bits about some of the products, photos like fashion photos and bits and bobs like that. Um, yeah, that's that. And then we have this that says, oh, the places you'll go, passport holder. So it's a passport cover. That's all like tied up with a little bow. Oh. It's got palm trees and says, let's get lost. It's kind of like um, like a shiny material, I suppose. And then just this my little box on the back. And then inside is just where you would put your passport. Um, sadly, I'm not going anywhere that will need a passport this year, but uh, never mind. Right, next up is this little box here that says sunshine suits you. Um... And it says it is by Stella and Dot. Um, don't know. Thinking it's jewellery, but let's have a look. Ah, oh, it's just like this little, let's see, a little gold bracelet with a little orangey red tassel. Oh, that's really pretty and you can like obviously make it bigger or smaller depending on how big your wrist is but yeah i like jewelry like this like very dainty um i don't know if it was last month or the month before that um it came with a ring in it but that was really nice as well so yeah i like that and then in here we've got the beauty products so we have this which it's a, uh, I can't read it. Broom de Coco. I can smell something at Pre Soleil. Is it like after sun maybe? Let's have a look. Coconut spritzer after sun spray. This coconut scented body milk spray wants only the best for you to lavish your skin with rich, richness, to whisk you to the exotic lands, to spoil you rotten with a nourishing formula that envelops your entire body in a cloud of softness. Oh my, looks like this one's a keeper. That's great because, as I mentioned earlier, I have sunburn on my face, so I will give that a try. We then have a little, um, what do you call it? Tub, pot, bottle uh, of like um, hand gel, for keeping your hands clean. And I don't know, does it say? Which is says Mercy Handy Coco Rico Love and Hand Cleansing Gel. Does it have a scent? Uh, oh, it's Mercy Handy is actually the brand. Um, they create everyday cosmetics with a lot of tenderness. Their recipes are simple. They just add a touch of humour. Our gel is filled with love. It leaves your hands soft and perfumed. Do you like it? Certainly we'll give that a go. And then we have ooh, a couple more bits. Okay, so we have, let's put it on the floor because I can't do this. So we have this from, is it Yves Rocher? Or, I'm not very good with pronunciation. Noir de Coco Coconut Eau de Toilette. So it's just a little perfume, which I'm guessing is like um, a coconut scented. Uh, but yeah, I don't think I've ever tried anything from this brand before, so I'll certainly give that a go, and I love coconut, so... 
hopefully I like the smell of that. And then there's also a sample of something in here. Um, it is Oh John. I'm not good with pronunciation. Rare blend oil moisture therapy. Medium texture for hair with dry ends. Okay, so it's like a hair oil sample. It's quite pretty. Um, I like using hair oil, especially like during the summer, well, actually during the winter as well, um, just to keep my hair as healthy as possible. And then there's just a couple of leaflets in there about the different products as well. Um, and that is everything for today. Right, so I have some more posts to show you. Um, I think this is from a couple of days. Um, no, it's got to be more than that. Um, that I just haven't opened it. So we've got a couple of bits from Amazon. Um, this one is from JD Sports. Um, this I'll show you later. And then I've got a letter from one of my pen pals. So I think what I'm going to do is open them and then show you what was in them because I can't do opening and filming at the same time. So I've just opened um, the letter from my pen pal. Um, it's actually... Um, She's actually from the States and her name is um, Ayumi. I don't know. I don't know if I'm saying it right, so apologies if I'm not. Um, but we've been pen pals for a few years now um, and it was nice to hear from her. So I got this. Oh, God. <laughs> I got this um, little card which says, Sometimes stuff really sucks, but you'll be okay, which I really like because, yeah, it, stuff really does suck sometimes. <laughs> um, and she's just written like a really nice letter inside it um, and also written on a couple of postcards as well um, which is nice. She's also included um, a bookmark from her trip to Hearst Castle which looks pretty amazing um, because she knows that I like to read and she's also included um, a couple of tea bags because she says that her friend in Japan loves the magic black no, magic, mango black tea from Trader Joe's, so hopefully you'll like it too. Um, and as you probably know, if you've watched my vlogs for a while, um, I love tea, so I'm really excited to try that. Okay, so my next parcel is this white one here. Um, didn't know what it was when it arrived. Um, I had no idea because I hadn't ordered anything. And then um, I looked inside and there was this little letter that basically said that I'd won um, a giveaway with Witch, um, which is a brand that I really like. Um, it's 50 years of which, so they've been around for 50 years. Um, and it was just, I think it was like an email or something, um, that I just happened to log up, like click on, and they were holding the competition, didn't expect to win. Um, but I did, so I got some goodies. So we have this one. Oh, my hands are really shaky today, which isn't going to focus. Hello, there we go. Um, well, yes, we've got this, which is um, an overnight clearing serum. So that looks quite interesting, and I'm looking forward to giving that a try. We also have this one. God, what's going on with my hands? Let's um, let's put it on there. It's much easier. So we've got this one, which is um, the blemish stick with witch hazel extract. Oh, then we've got. Um, face wipes which as you know are always good for me because yeah sometimes I just don't have the energy to do like the whole proper light skincare routine um, and I've never tried witch skin wipes before so that'll be interesting I think there's one more on it two more things oh. so we also have um, this which is the gentle uh, gentle exfoliating face watch wash I can't speak um I think I've tried this actually because I think when I held my blogger event um which very kindly sent us some bits to go in the goodie bags and um they sent us lots of like miniatures of this um so I've used it a few times now and I really like it and then the last thing in here is this which is a concealer um, and I didn't actually know that Witch did kind of make up -y things. Um, so we will see what it's like. Um, what does it say? It uh, covers and fights blemishes for clear looking skin instantly. So, 
yes i'll give that a go maybe like do a blog post on this stuff and let you know what i think of it so in the big black bag was this <laughs> yellow jd sports bag which is just what i wanted um but the main thing in there was this box from adidas and i actually haven't opened this yet so i really hope they're the right ones but i have been looking for a pair of trainers oh, for what feels like forever and the camera's just stopped working yay um these have been out of stock for ages i keep looking and my sister got them and my brother's fiance got them and i was really jealous because i wanted a pair too um and i actually my sister found them actually back in stock and told me about it so um, I actually went for the junior ones, which were a hell of a lot cheaper than the adult ones. So having smallish feet is quite good sometimes. Um, but they are the um, Adidas Superstar pink trainery things. And I think they look very pretty. So I'm going to try those on later and really hope they fit because um, I didn't try them on, obviously, when I bought them. But I have tried them on in the store in, in a different design. So fingers crossed they'll fit me okay, so this parcel is a little bit random i suppose um well i don't know depends who you are um but basically let me just check if it's actually the right thing before i tell you what it is yeah so basically like i get a lot of pain in my back and i do go for like regular massages but not as regular as i would like and um one of my consultants recommended um getting like a massage ball um for he actually recommended it for like doing it on my stomach because he, they think i've got um like trap nerves in my abdominal abdominal wall and he said it might help um but you can also use them on your back on your like feet on anything really so i found these ones on amazon don't know if they're any good um but it was a set of three so you got three different sizes um and they were only about six pounds so I'm not sure how good they're going to be, but I will give them a go and uh, see if they're any good. So, yeah, three of them. I thought that was quite good. And obviously, like, like you use a different size depending on, I think, like, how, um, how much, well, how, like, much pressure you want and where you want it, like, how direct you want it. So I shall be giving them a go and I will get back to you on them and let you know. And then last but not least is the other Amazon package. Um, and this is... A walking stick and I have one very very similar to this in purple um, but my brother is getting married in a couple of weeks and I'm a bridesmaid um, for them as well and the theme for their wedding is like pinky colour um, not quite as bright as this it's a, like very nude pink um, so I thought I would quite like to get a stick that would kind of go with the theme because for the last for my other brother's wedding um, I used my purple stick which was great because their theme was purple um, so this is very yeah switch stick exactly like the same brand and everything as my other stick just in the pink colour rather than the purple and it's always going to be nice to have another two sticks because my one is definitely starting to look really worn out because I use it so much um, these aren't cheap i think i paid like 31 pounds for it but like I, I mean i use my switch stick every day like any anytime i go out the house i've got my switch stick um and i love the like the funky design it gets so many comments from people which is pretty cool really um and i like the way that it folds up quite small and you can just pop it in a bag out the way and you know not worry about it um so yeah that was the last thing in there Hello, I've got a couple of um, bits of post to open with you today. Um, please excuse how I look. I'm, yeah, I haven't been out today, so I haven't really bothered to sort out my clothes properly. Um, so I've got a, another box from my friend Lissa, because I can tell with the watermelon <laughs> stuff. Um, and then I have um, a black bag, which is from JD Sports, because um yeah i know what it is um so i'm gonna open the packages i think and then show you what's inside because otherwise you're just gonna see me struggling to get into them <laughs> which isn't much fun for you to watch okay so this is the first parcel um from jd sports and then again you might remember i um 
got a parcel from JD Sports fairly recently, um, which was my um, pink superstar Baddy Dash trainers. Um, basically, when I was ordering them um, with my mum, well, like I showed my mum what I was ordering, I also saw this pair of trainers. Um, the pink ones I got were junior size, which meant they were like a lot cheaper. These ones weren't and didn't come in junior size, so I kind of just decided to go for the pink ones. Um, and then my mum um, came up to me a few days ago and just said, um, if we went halves, would I like to buy these ones? Um, just like as a little treat. So I said yes. So I've got another of these <laughs> bags, which, you know, might come in useful. I haven't seen these, so I really hope <laughs> that they're as nice as they look on the website. So... These ones are the the superstars again, um, but they are they're well, they're called gold. They kind of look a little bit sort of rose gold. Um, I think they look really cute. And so now I have two pairs of superstar trainers, which my sister is not happy about because she seems to collect the blooming things. But I just wanted some like more. I don't know, fashion, not fashionable, can't think of the right word. Like, I've got a pair of trainers, but they're kind of, like, dirty and, you know, like, you kind of wear them for, like, st I don't know, everyday stuff. Whereas I wanted some that were more, I can't think of the right word, like, smart. I wouldn't say these are smart, but, you know, I don't know how long I'll be able to keep them white. But, yeah, I really like them. Um, and I get these in a five and a half, I think. Yeah, five and a half. I'm actually generally a six, but I did try the sixes on um, and found that they really slipped. So I went for five and a half. Um, and if you're lucky, some of the five and a halves do come in the junior size. Um, so it's always worth looking if you're sort of around that size or sort of smaller because they are a lot cheaper, but sadly these ones didn't come in, so let's just check that the other one is okay, yep. Yeah. So that is them. Um, they don't look quite as rose gold as they did on the website, but um, never mind, I still like them. Okay, so I've just unwrapped the second box that had the watermelon tape on it, so let's have a wee look at what's in here. Oh, there's some sequin stars. So, like I said, it's from my friend Alyssa, who's being very naughty and keeps sending me lovely little gifts in the post, which really make me smile, but, yeah, she really doesn't have to do it, but, yeah, it's it's really kind of her and, and really brightens my days. So, what she said on this one, let's have a look. Um, so, Jenny, just a few bits and pieces, loads of love from me and the Ratty family, Alyssa slash the Sparkle Fairy, and she's definitely the Sparkle Fairy. Look at this. Um... She has lots of white pet rats, which are just so cute. Like, I never thought I would like rats. Um, they kind of have a stereotype attached to them, I suppose. But like, she posts videos and stuff of them on Facebook, and they're just so cute. Um, so let's have a look and see what we have got in here. We have a lot of sparkly stuff. Let's try and get it out of the way. So in here, I don't know if I'll do this with one hand. See. You can watch me struggle. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. In. okay, so we have a little piglet. Um, it looks like a phone charm or something, which is so cute. Like I love Disney. Um and I remember sort of when I was really little, my dad used to read like the Winnie the Pooh stories and stuff to me. Um and Piglet is just so cute, and so that's really sweet. Thank you very much. What else have we got? Ooh. We have a very lovely fluffy pair Ooh. of pink socks. Pink is my favourite colour. Um, and they're all tied with this nice bow. And fluffy socks are just fabulous because I get ridiculously cold feet um, because of my stupid body just doesn't warm them up so they will come in very handy especially when it starts to get colder um oh i think there's one more set we have the 
cutest little ribbon. Um, it's like one of these clip things to go in your hair, which is just adorable. And you know, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know I'm kind of obsessed with hair accessories. I get the Crown and Glory stuff all the time, um, and this is just really cute. It's like blue with little red flowers on it. So I will look forward to wearing that one. And we have a little cupcakey thing which has got star stuck into it. Oh, I'll sort that out later. Um, which I believe is a lip gloss or a lip balm. But there's no way I'm going to be able to open this on camera. So you'll have to take my word for it. So it's got a little lip, lip balm in it which is always useful and it's just really cute. And I think that's everything. There's just lots of this lovely paper stuff in it and lots of lots of sequin things which is just great and I love them. So thank you very much Lissa for being very naughty again and treating me to get more lovely things. Thank you. Hello, so I have a few bits of post to open with you today uh, which are here. Um, I think the best thing to do actually is I will pop you down here. Oh god you can't see me, this is the problem. Um, what can I put you on? like stuck some stuff up and try and make a tripod this is when i should have remembered to bring my tripod down never mind that'll do do you like my top so this glitter is my favorite color okay i think you're a little bit wonky so apologies for that right first thing first i have a letter from San Francisco, which is a place I would love to go to one day. Um, let's see. I think this is something I have been sent by a brand to feature on my YouTube channel, so that's good. <laughs> I'm making a bit of a mess of this. Okay, so this is from a brand called uh, Pick. Tea. Let's zoom in so you can actually see what it looks like. I'm gonna focus, yeah. Yep, so that's the um web address and basically it's um they told me about it, it's it's tea but it's like crystals and then you put it into your mug and pour the hot water on and do it that way and it's still like tea but without the tea bag. So, let's have a look. We have got four little sachets. So we've got some Earl Grey, two lots of Earl Grey. We've got Jasmine and Sencha Green Tea. So you can see them all here. Comes in this cute little pouch. Um, and then on the back it says, handcrafted from organic whole leaves by our tea master. Pick tea crystals are an exquisite nutritious tea in a modern sachet. Simply open and stir with water for the perfect cup anytime, anywhere. Which sounds pretty cool. As you know, I am a big fan of tea. Um, so I will uh, let you know how I get on with these because they sound really interesting. It's not something I've ever seen before. I've seen like powder teas and stuff like that, but this is apparently actually crystals. So yeah that sounds really exciting i don't know what other flavors and stuff that they do but i'll find i'll go onto their website and uh, give you a little description in the uh, comment section below so that i can tell you all about it and i i will feed back at some point <laughs> and tell you what they were like so that's that one so i think it's just a letter from just a letter from a friend a letter from a friend let's have a look It's a little cat. It's got a slight bit of glitter on it as well. Is it a cat or a mouse? Something like that anyway, with a little flower on it. And it is from oh it is from my friend Molly. So 
basically it is um it's a card from my friend molly who you might remember i'm like putting together a care package for um so getting a letter from her is really nice because she's been really poorly and she still is really poorly so writing i know is quite difficult for her um and she's also included a 15 pounds um itunes voucher which she said she got for her birthday but she's now changed her phone to an android so she doesn't have a use for it and she thought that i might like it so that's really sweet and very yeah very kind of her to send that so i'm gonna look forward to buying some bits and bobs on itunes um i also need to like sort out getting my i've got an i what have i got i've got an ipod touch which is quite old <laughs> let's just put it that way um the music on it is kind of a bit retro um i do love you know old music as well but i really need to update it and like get some current music on there um so that because i love like when i'm going on a car journey or whatever it's always nice to sit and actually listen to some music um so but at the moment i'm like listening to stuff from the 90s which isn't a problem but i could do with some current stuff too uh the next thing is fairly boring it is a well, it's not boring it's fun um it's a next uh, something from next it's not I, i'd love to get their catalogue but you have to pay for it and i just can't be bothered um this is if i can open it There we go. It's just like a mini, mini, very mini catalogue. Well, very mini catalogue um, for autumn and winter. Um, so it's just got, oh, you get £15 off your first order. Oh, well, I've already ordered, so that's not going to help. It's just got like a couple of bits from next in there. Um, but I'll probably just either go to the shop or look on the website because this hasn't got a huge amount in it. Um, and then the last thing that I've bought is some more flowers. I'm going to say flowers. Some cards from the greetings company, which is that one there. Um, I haven't actually got the web address. So I'll put it in the comments bar below. Um, so these are my cards for August. Oh my god! Like, how are we nearly in August? I don't really know where the time is going at the moment. It's kind of scary. Um, I've actually got quite a few birthdays in August, so I have quite a few cards to show you everything. And I'll do it on the floor because it's a lot easier to do it down there than it is to do it up here. I'll be able to focus and not focus and there. So, let's go. Okay. Um, like I, I do this most months, um, I'm not going to say which card is for who because off the top of my head I can't actually remember um, and also it would spoil it if they're watching so I'll just kind of take you through which cards I've got. So we have this cute one here um, which has got two little owls on, a bit of glitter uh, woohoo it's your woohoo happy birthday to you and that one says have a wonderful day um, I love the card, oh, I love buying cards anyway but they have such a good range um, on this website. The next one is a little mousy that just says which wish big, can't speak to, uh, happy birthday. Next one we've got is a bicycle with flowers, just another happy birthday one. I don't tend to go for ones that have got like a lot of writing inside them, I like to prefer to write my own stuff so that's that one. And then I've got this one which has an amazing looking cake, like seriously I need one of these cakes. <laughs> um, so that's just another birthday one. And I've got a feeling it's blank inside, it doesn't say. Next one is a little fluffy bunny rabbit that just says have a really lovely birthday. Um, and then inside it just says wishing you a very special day. And then we've got this one that has got three little, I think they're border collies, I'm not great on dog breeds. It just says hugs never go out of fashion and then inside it just says happy birthday. And then we've got this one which I think is just adorable. It's the, um, oh I can't remember what it's called. It looks like the bunny from, I can't think what it's from but I, re I recognise it. Let's have a look and see on the back. Um, no, it just says, oh, it's the Guess How Much I Love You. That's the one. Um, and it's just blank inside. But, um, the person that I bought this from, I just saw it and I was like, yeah, yeah, that's a good one for them. 
Then we've got a Juicy Lucy one, which I absolutely love Juicy Lucy. Um, it's your birthday. Drink pink champagne and go insane. Yep, that's what I do on my birthday. And then we have this one, um, which just says, you bring the sunshine and I'll bring the wine. And that one's blank inside as well. Uh, I've then got a friend that just turning 30. The 30th birthday card selection isn't great. I just find them all a bit boring, if I'm honest. Um, but this one's not too bad. Um, so it just says, have a very happy 30th birthday. And then, have a really lovely day. Then I have my friend's little girl is turning five, which is just crazy because I remember her being born. Um, so I just got this one because... I tend to find with kids cards, like they do do like the character ones and stuff, but they change their minds so quickly on what they like. I, t I just find it safer to get one that isn't. Um, so I just thought this one was really cute and it's got glitter on it. And yeah, I would like that if I was five, I think. It just is wishing you a very happy fifth birthday. And then the last one is this rather cute looking knitted cupcake. And it says happy birthday. Um... And this one actually tells you about the charities um, that you are supporting, which is good. Um, so it's got all these different ones. Action for Children, what have we got? Um, Action for Children, Bernardo's, Disability Rights UK, Macmillan Cancer Support, Samaritans, uh, Children's Society, Multiple Sclerosis Society, all sorts of charities, which is always good to know that you are doing something good.